this is Christine Elizabeth here, and uh, thank you for joining the channel today. Today, I want to talk about something that we all know about, and it's not just about items in our lives, but it's also about situations, people sometimes, um, circumstances, families, whatever it is that we're toting around with us, because we have a life to live, and we are carrying around things that will either help us to move forward or stick, keep us stuck, and sometimes just even drag us a little bit backwards. So today I was unpacking still from a recent move and I got to a point where I had already unpacked a house and I got to a, a point where I thought, wow, there's still stuff to unpack, but I'm running out of places to put them. Do I really need all these things? And I remember when I was packing saying, okay, well, I'm not taking anything that I don't need. That doesn't always happen. I mean, just in reality, we, we have such a hard time because we create this emotional connection to things that we have and things have memories to them and we don't always want to let go of them. And a lot of times we feel guilty or bad about letting go of things and that, that can flow over into people as well. Sometimes we're in different stages of life, different seasons of our life and our path, and we need to recognize that it's important to evaluate who's in our pact, who's in our circle, and are they helping us or are they pulling us backwards? Now, we're not disposing of people just the same way. I don't want to dispose of the items that just don't fit in my house anymore. I'm actually just releasing them. I'm releasing them to uh, maybe become a part of my compost, or maybe I'm releasing it to a thrift shop. Maybe I'm going to give it um, as a gift to somebody, because I have some things that are still in packages. I don't know if you have that, but I have things that are still in packages that I'm not going to make it seem as though I'm giving you a gift that I purchased, but still there's meaning and value in those things. And we can't take away the meaning and value of really good things just because we didn't pay for it. We don't have to pretend. Um, it's also important to let some of the memories in our heart go. Um, sometimes we're grieving over something and it's a long time of grieving. We haven't really done any healing and it's important to say, okay, you know what? It's enough is enough. And I need to, I need to make this progressive. We need to heal and you need to find ways and people who actually know how to heal from things that have caused you great grief, losses, uh, changes in life circumstances, bankruptcies, things like that, where and I will tell you, um, there are there are professionals who know how to do this. There are lay people who know how to do that. And lay people just means that they're not credentialed, uh, but that is their natural gifting. That's what they were born to do, if you so to speak. Um, and then there are organizations um, that s offer free support. So it is peer support. And these are really important to, to know and utilize. If you feel stuck in your life, whether it's in your physical home, in your heart, in your mind, in your, in your friend set, evaluate where you want your life to go. Do you want it to move forward? Where, what direction do you want it to move? Are the people who are in your life or the things that are in your life, or maybe the job that's in your life, is that going to help you get to that point? So I hope this is food for thought for you as I'm busy still getting rid of more things and finding people to release them to places to release them to. I hope I've encouraged you to consider and think about the people, things, events that are in your life, in your heart still, maybe things that you're playing out that you are no longer benefiting from and are ready with the right support to release. I hope you found help from this. I know that it has been helpful for me to listen to, to other people's journeys and to be inspired by the messes that they've had to go through. So I hope that me being vulnerable and sharing you with you my mess um, helps you to feel a little bit safe to acknowledge that we all have a little bit of a mess. Please like and subscribe if this video has been helpful for you. If this content 
is helpful for you because I have weekly videos that are going to be coming out. If you look through the past, you'll see there is a collection. There are people's interviews, there are personal testimonies, there are tips and tools. So if you are looking and you're going in the direction that I'm going on, hop on board. God bless you and be well.